Hello, beautiful people. It's Eric Hatch with Hatch Realty. And are you lucky enough to get multiple offers on your home as a seller? That's the topic today. And we're going to find out how to milk that for every last dime. As I promised, we're going to dive in and talk about what it means if you're going to get multiple offers on your property. In fact, if you're lucky enough to see multiple offers, it's easy to jump on the first one. And it's easy to say, well, I want to just sell and be done with it. But if we play the game right, and we have a few secrets that I'm going to fill you on right now on how to play the game right, I think we're going to fill your pockets with a little more cash. Let's say we want to list your house. I'd first advise listing it on a Wednesday or a Thursday. The reason why is because we see an awful lot of traffic Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Even if folks are at the lake for the weekend, they're still looking at houses and then they're coming back for open houses or coming to look on Sunday or Monday. So we want to get a long duration of time in order for people to see your home. So that's clue number one. We want to put your house on the market for a duration that we've pre-prescribed at about five days. The second tip, which I think is really important, is that we educate the other realtors and buyers that we're waiting uh, until Monday to present all offers. What that does is it lets them know this is a hot property. So there's going to be other offers on this, and sometimes some people won't even bother making an offer because there's always the people looking for deals, right? They want to save some cash, and they're not going to beat you up for price if they know multiple offers are coming. But if we get to the point where we do get multiple offers, well, then we can present and show you just the best of the best. I've seen people write for $10,000, $30,000 over an asking price. They'll say that they're going to cover the appraisal difference if the, if the house doesn't appraise out. And then they're even waiving inspection, saying they're going to buy your house and not get it inspected by a professional. Now, all these things and more, including the type of financing and the timeliness of the offer, are imperative that you hire the right realtor, and we'd love to be that connection for you. So I need you to do this. Number one, find out what your home is worth by clicking on our blog. Number two, start looking for some houses, again, by clicking on our blog, and get a great idea of what's offered in today's market. Uh, again, my name is Eric Hatch with Hatch Realty. It's a pleasure to chat with you today, and I hope we can get you a multiple offer very soon.